Hi everybody. Today I'm at the Bond Mountain Spring in Newfield, Maine. So there it is. At least that's the uh, the fill-up point. And I followed the pipe up there, and there's like a covered well. It goes down to an aquifer. Uh, so I brought my gallon jugs out here. There's a lot more in the car, and. I'm going to fill them up with this free spring water. Uh, there is a sign that says at times this water may have high levels of bacteria. Please feel free to have all you want, but at your own risk. So, there's that. simple as that. One great thing about this water, it tastes really good. So I really hope it's not contaminated. So, was it worth it to drive about an hour and a half out here to fill up 11 gallons of water? Probably not. But that's why I'm going to fit in uh, an extracurricular activity now that I'm out here. There's a small mountain called uh, Abbott Mountain, about six miles away. So I'm going to go hike that. I'll take you with me. So here I am at the trailhead of Abbott Mountain. Um, it was, they have a lot of signs about stuff that you can't do here. But uh, hiking is not prohibited. So, And I saw a family walking back. and. They were hiking up here. They they told me where it was. So I think it's it's a pretty legitimate mountain trail. I saw a large animal already. I think it was like a female moose. Um, it was far away. It was way bigger than a white-tailed deer. It was. It looked like a deer. Uh, so I'm a little worried about animals. But that's just because I'm a novice when it comes to hiking in the Maine woods. So. I have an unnatural fear of running into a bear or an angry moose. Uh, I'm sure that's not going to happen. But it's beautiful here. And it's way cooler in the woods than it was out in the sun. There are a lot of these no ATV signs, but the path has a lot of really eroded gravel and there's deep tire marks in the path so I'm pretty sure somebody's not paying attention to those signs. They've seriously posted like 30 of them in the first hundred feet. Okay, I made it. Yeah, that's worth it. Spared you the part where I scrambled up the mountain. For a while I was not sure I was on the right path. So I was kind of panicked. It went too fast. So I'm winded now. But this is an awesome view. That was really hard for me. But I'm glad I did it. The trail was confusing. There's a lot of just large open rock areas like this. So I didn't know if, if that was the trail or that was just some exposed rock. I just kept going up. There are voices. There are other people up here. That's good. I don't know where they are. I don't see any bears or any moose. I saw a ba Baltimore Oriole. That was really cool. I tried to get the camera on it, but it it flew away. What a great 
mountain. This is a great mountaintop experience. Not the most fun climb, but um, but worth it. I'm gonna rest for a bit before I hike back down. But this has been fun. Thanks for coming with me. First of all, I have to say it's probably pretty dangerous for me to be doing this on this section of the trail because it looks like that. So I'm going to keep my eyes on the trail, but I just wanted to say, at the top, I ran into the ATV people, ATVers. I don't, I don't know what they prefer to be called, but they looked like they were having a great time and like... ATVs are the coolest thing ever. Um, so I'm sold on it. I think I think this whole place was obviously meant for ATVs. When I saw them going down the same sections I was going down, I was like, this isn't made for hikers. It, uh, it works way better on an ATV, although we made about the same time going down the mountain. Uh, looked like fun though. They were all drinking beers. Um, they seemed friendly. So yeah, update on the ATV.